First of all, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I have so many interesting things to show you through Automotive Press. I'm really glad that you are watching this particular video because I'm going to tell you a lot more about the 2022 Toyota Tundra in terms of the design. I've already shown you some of the design features and the rendering and a number of you have been asking how do I know that that rendering I'm showing you is actually uh, accurate and that the new 2022 Tundra will indeed look like that. Well, let me show you exactly how I came up with the rendering so you will know for sure that these are 90%, 9-0, 90% 90 accurate. And when a new model comes out, it will look very close to my rendering. So let me walk you through briefly how that came about because it's a very interesting story that you really, really want to um, hear. And just to clarify, because some of you have been asking about my background, born and raised in Japan, but grew up in US and Canada. I used to work for Toyota and I have been working as an automotive engineer for over 30 years. And I'm actually considered a subject matter expert or SME in Toyota production system or TPS and Toyota product development uh, or what we call new product development system. So I teach this all over the world. And currently uh, up to this point, I've taught the Toyota method to more than 1000 companies, including some of the Fortune 500 companies. So uh, I'm not making this up. This is my background. This is what I do for a living. And uh, through a YouTube channel, I'm simply expressing my my experience and uh, showcasing some really interesting stuff that um, other people perhaps cannot. <clears throat> so part of the process is is based on um, Dr. Jeffrey Liker's book, the Toyota product development system. I'm a good friend with Dr. Liker, Liker and we both have similar background and similar passion for Toyota uh, development system and Toyota production system. And so I just want to show you the stuff that we are talking about the first couple minutes here is truly, truly uh, very accurate to what Toyota does to design and develop new models, including the Tundra. So here's a very simple diagram. You don't have to understand this fully, but this is the basic design philosophy of Toyota. This starts off with designing the components, move through to the system and to the actual cars and trucks. <clears throat> and then on the left side, we have some research, advanced research here and moves on to a product development. Now, this is when the supplier gets involved uh, and both equations merge together to form this product development process and uh, this is how the new cars are designed basically but this is where the leak happens typically and I'll explain how that works either what we call tier one or tier two part suppliers is when sometimes these scoops or uh, leaks happens and uh, that's when we begin to get a glimpse of what the new car or truck look like here's another diagram again just stay with me because it's important for you to understand this in order to understand exactly why the 2022 Tundra looks like the rendering I, I have been showing you. And that is that, so this is an actual continuous improvement method or Kaizen we call it in the Toyota language. Uh, but they go through the planning, they go through a design and they go through evaluation, then pre-production. So the spy photos and the leak photos you have been seeing, which I'll show you in a second, is somewhere in here. This is before the pre-production, right after the evaluation. So this is where the leak is happening. And the reason why it's important to know that is because at this point, the design is locked. <clears throat> so design is locked and therefore it is you know, already pretty accurate. So what do I mean by that? Well, this is again, very complicated diagram I don't need to explain you in exactly what's happening but this is the TPS or Toyota production system this is when the production actually start we are not talking about that we are still talking about this stage which is pre-production at the pre-production stage this stage here the design is locked the supplier is locked with the basic framework is all locked in and then uh, once it enters production here nothing changes so we are at this stage here in terms of in terms of the photos that have been leaked so far but in terms of toyota they are already past this stage and they are now just entering production this is where probably 
four to six months away from the actual uh, production of the Tundra arriving at our dealership, which means that you work backwards. And so about six months before that, they would start pre-production. So they will be already um, building Tundras on the production line right now to test out the equipment and the process to make sure that it can be, it can be built with accuracy and in, with high quality. So this is they are where they are right now in uh, February, March time frame. Okay, so here's where things begin to get really interesting. This is one of the first and perhaps the only truly valid scoop photo that has come out on the web. Now, I, you know, I, I'm very involved with the auto industry, so I have access to many other interesting stuff. I can't show you those for obvious reasons, for confidential reasons. So I can only show you what's publicly shown. But what I can do is support how valid these things are. So this particular uh, scoop photo that came out is the reason why it's accurate, because I can tell, I can tell by looking through these uh, features here, and these uh, <clears throat> quality that this is a pretty accurate what we call the stage three or stage four uh, prototyping so this is not pre-production this is before pre-production so this would be about a year before the production starts year to year and a half so the design will be 90 to 95 percent locked and would be pretty accurate so all this dimensionally and conceptually will be pretty accurate even the wheels may be accurate now what happened was then we saw a number of these covered up or camouflaged tundra and and of course you can't really see the frontier very well this part is all kind of hidden but you can see the basic general shape here okay even though it's well covered and you can also see that it has a six lug nuts right that's one of the changes for the 2022 tundra so what uh, this is one of the ones that you see a lot in the on the internet and what this person did i don't know if it's a person or a group of people is they took this uh, one scoop photo that has come out and they just simply tacked it onto this um this prototype this this drawing okay and then uh, and then they just tacked it on so this part is accurate okay the rest of the track is accurate and the reason why is because this is the actual prototype of the tundra everything else you see on the internet are likely fake okay so let me keep on walking you through this so for example another person then took it next step and so this part if you recall okay this part here is that scoop photo so that part is accurate and this person simply mirrored that image and added to the left side okay so the front end as a whole is actually well done very accurate this part is a bit questionable the emblem part is questionable but questionable but um, the basic look of just the front end is accurate um, and the wheels if the wheels that we actually saw in the spy photo is the correct one then it's also accurate but the rest of the body is wrong this entire body is wrong because this is actually exactly identical to nissan titan photo if you look at uh, type in nissan titan uh, then this you can tell this came straight from that uh, titan photo so this is this part is actually wrong the tail light is wrong as well but the front is correct now what the reason why i showed you all that is to let you know that other popular rendering and photos that you have been seeing in on the internet is completely wrong you can tell this has absolutely no basis this front end is not designed like the prototype therefore it is completely a complete fake and a complete guess the rest of the body as well are not looking anything like the prototype so this is the reason why i'm showing you is that to show that this one is very inaccurate completely wrong even the most um, popular youtubers are still showing this i don't know why but this is wrong this is also wrong this is another rendering you see a lot it looks great it even shows a sex lug here but uh, this full front end, as I just shown you, is not anything close to that prototype, and therefore it is incorrect. It is not accurate at all. Uh, and th they show this little um, design here where it comes up like this. This is also not correct, and the tail lamp is also wrong, and I'll show you why if you just keep watching here. So just to confirm that this is the only true spy photo that came out 
this looks like a stage 3 or stage 4 prototype most likely came out of, out of a supplier photo or a supplier's um, maybe backyard or something or some kind of prototype uh, location this is the only truly accurate photo and I'll show you this couple more too and that is that someone I guess went to some kind of a reveal it might be like a marketing reveal or maybe they were trying to make some kind of TV commercial uh, I don't know what but someone I guess you know snuck in a camera very very rough low resolution camera and took uh, a short video clip now this is the actual Toyota Tundra, the 2022 Tundra. And you can see already, even though it's quite blurry, that this part is identical to that prototype I showed you earlier. This one, right, is identical. Uh, and so you know that's accurate now because now two models are showing the same design. And you can also see this Toyota emblem is pretty big. And I can, as an engineer, calculate the exact dimension here. All this, this is a, this is like real. And I can calculate dimensionally all this feature and translate directly into rendering very accurately to, to retain and maintain the exact same proportion to scale. Okay. Uh, the other interesting stuff is this one shows the um, the LED uh, light here, side lights or lights here uh, across the grill, and also two fog lamp. That's some interesting stuff here. And then this is another shot of the that short video and you can see I, this this comes down like this this is the headlight and you can see the grill the lines you can calculate the number of grills again the lights are all three lights are here so what i've done is i've i've taken the dimensions of this okay and i calculated exact angle and so forth to create my rendering so my rendering is not based on some guesstimate it is actually based on actual prototype photo and then these also show came through the internet and um, what's so interesting is that many of the scoop renderings show show this part here going straight and coming up like this but that's not the case you can see there's a slight curve here a very little curve almost straight and this is an actual prototype again really well camouflaged but this whole side section is exposed everything else is covered so you can see the contour here and you can tell that for example motor trend rendering shows this part coming up like this but that's not true it's go it goes straight so I've, again I've taken the scale to scale the dimensions of the dimensions of these doors and translate it into my rendering uh, so that it's accurate Here's another angle of that. It's all covered up again, but you can clearly see that this part goes up just a tiny bit, but it doesn't go up that much. <clears throat> and you can calculate by uh, looking at this rendering, the size of the door, the size of the, uh, the actual car in relation to, in relation to do this door, and therefore able to calculate accurately. Now the last, uh, another blurry photo I'll show you is again from that short video clip that someone took. And the interest, most interesting thing is three things in here. One is that this tail lamp is uh, this kind of like a, a, a reverse U shape. So it's got little tail here and tail here. Uh, so it kind of looks like um, a Chevrolet Silverado um, tail lamp, uh, but you've got this kind of boomerang design, right? That's very important. And then the very interesting thing is that these three lights in the back. So these are obviously uh, kind of copying the the Ford Raptor uh, three fog lamps that we see in the front, not fog lamps, but there are three mini lamp lights. And interesting enough, in the case of Tundra, it's in the back, not in the front. So perhaps they're trying to mimic the same look, but they don't want to be so uh, obviously copying the Ford design, so they put it in the back. And then here's an interesting one. There's an actual light by the rear fender here, by the rear uh, wheel well, just above the wheel. There's another little mini light. So these three lights here and this mini light is pretty unique to Tundra. Now, I don't think Toyota would put all these lights on a regular Tundra, like SR5. So I think this is a TRD Pro they're showing because TRD Pro would have the maximum number of interesting features and design elements. So most likely this is a TRD Pro. But anyway, this does show very, very clearly what the tail light looks like 
So I've incorporated that into my rendering uh, so that, uh, the again, the rendering is um, will become very accurate. So here we are, let me explain. When everything is combined together, this is what I have. Now, this is not a perfect diagram by any means, and I'm not a, a formal illustrator, but I've done the best I can to come up with something that is dimensionally correct, and then design-wise, extremely accurate to those leaked photos. And uh, so you've seen this because I've shown this in the previous video. About uh, and this is um, the SR5 TRD Sport model. In Canada, this is simply called a TRD Sport, and in the US, it's an SR5 with a TRD Sport option. But regardless, it's a TRD Sport. And so what I've done is see this part here on the right of part of the this part. I I've made sure that was accurate to the the leak photo. Same thing on this side. On the left side, this part is very accurate. I made sure that dimensionally this part. It's all correct, the angles are correct, and the dimensions are all correct, the headlight size is also correct. And then uh, in some other rendering I saw, this, this front Toyota emblem was too high. I lowered it a little bit because, um, again, comparing and designing it to scale, the leak photo shows this one slightly lower. I matched a number of bars in the grille and the overall size of the Toyota emblem. So the whole front end is, I know for sure, is very, very accurate. And then what I've done is to take the, the, the sort of to scale the size of the doors I mentioned from those scoop photos and made sure that the size of these doors are also dimensionally correct to scale. I made sure that this part here, the little um, line that you see, the curve you see, goes straight doesn't it doesn't curve up it doesn't it goes straight like some rendering shows this coming up but it's not the case uh, and then I also made sure that this is flat it's all the way flat at the very end it goes up just a little bit this is right on bottom of the window because that's what the scoop photo of the prototype is showing again anything else other than that is not correct but this is correct finally again my excuse for kind of poor illustration here but I Put the uh, the boomerang or the reverse U uh, tail lamp here, so it's, it, it looks like this, right? The tail lamp. So I made sure that was in there. So again, so it's not very. It's not, I'm not doing a very good job here. But anyway, it kind of reverse U, so that's there. And I, in this case, is TRD Sport, so I put down TRD Sport emblem there as well. Uh, the only part that's maybe not accurate is the design of the wheels. We don't know exactly what the design of the wheels will look like. That's usually the very last thing that the car manufacturer will confirm anyway. So I just took um, a 2021 uh, Tundra wheels, but I did change to six lug here because people do ask me to please make sure that it's got six lugs. So I changed it from five to six, both front and back. So that part is also accurate. So now I've sort of messed up this diagram, but you can see why, why this one is very accurate. now. This, so then from there, I developed all the other trim trim lines or trim models. This is the, um, this is likely the uh, the best I can do in terms of the Tundra Limited. So I put the Limited uh, logo here, or emblem there. Uh, I put the Limited style wheels, still six lug, but kind of chrome or at least a hyper silver color, because that's usually what they have on the Limited model. <clears throat> and then a little bit of chrome on the door trim here. And then uh, the other change is I removed the hood scoop because the Limited doesn't have a hood scoop. And then I've added kind of a semi-chrome or glossy type uh, grill in the front. So all the grills are a little bit semi-glossy. Again, it's a little hard to show that exactly, but uh, so the grill would be prominent and likely chrome finish on the Limited. So those are changes I made to come up with a Limited model. And then the next one is the TRD off-road. So this is again based on SR5. And uh, so the front end is of course same as the other models is accurate. Now there is some guesses I've made here. So for example, this uh, row of front LED uh, light bar, I don't know if that's gonna be on the TRD off-road. I, I think it's for sure will be on the TRD Pro, but I added one row, one row of LED light because I that's very possible they might have one, at least one set of uh, front lights. So I've added that, but that part I'm not sure. And usually the TRD off-road does not have a hood scoop, 
good scoop but I left it there just because it looks better that way and I'm hoping that for 2022 Toyota will keep the hood scoop not just for the sport TRD sport but also for the TRD off-road so I kept that there uh, finally I've added uh, more of off-road looking wheels but here just to have fun I've put an uh, aftermarket off-road wheels so I'm pretty sure that uh, the OEM or original equipment manufacturers wheels from Toyota will not look like this I know a few people commented that this this wheel doesn't look right I just playing around with this rendering a little bit and because so many people who buy a TRD off-road end up um, uh, end up buying an aftermarket wheels that are more rugged looking I've simply added that to see how that might look like so that wheel this wheel is probably not uh, going to be accurate in terms of what will come from Toyota but I wanted to show you what the TRD off-road will look like with an aftermarket uh, set of wheels so this is the TRD off-road and then finally uh, the final final rendering I have is the TRD Pro I don't think the TRD Pro, Pro will come out right away when the new model is uh, revealed sometime this uh, this year uh, who knows maybe they will show up at the same time so essentially a similar idea as the other rendering but now I have a couple of changes here so one is the LED front uh, lights uh, are in conjunction with the two fog lamps because these two fog lamps were in that particular leaked photo or leaked video and so I think that leaked video uh, is one about the TRD Pro so I've added three lights I've also added if you recall there was uh, four lights in the in the rear three in the tailgate that looks like a Raptors front uh, three lights but there was also this one little light by the wheel well in, above the rear tire so I've added that I'm sorry I don't have the rear rendering right now so I can't show you the three uh, lights in the back but there was three lights in the back as you if you recall uh, and then I made sure the tail lamp looks like the prototype and then I added uh, a small TRD Pro emblem or rather a TRD Pro logo in the rear here we don't know if it's going to still look like the stamped piece that they have right now but for now I just took a guess that TRD Pro of some label some emblem or deco will be in the back so the rest is um, pretty well similar to the other rendering the wheels I've added the existing T Tundra TRD Pro, Pro wheels to this rendering so obviously that's gonna change it's not gonna look exactly like this but if you look at all of the TRD Pro lineup through the Forerunner the Tacoma and the Tundra they have somewhat similar design that kind of looks looks like this anyway so it might not be five spoke like this but you'll look something like this I've added for now use that and I also changed the <laughs> the five lugs the six lugs here both front and back to be accurate dimensionally again so this is uh, I've used the 2021 Tundra TRD Pro wheels with some adjustment to show six lugs uh, everything else is similar to the other rendering I kept the hood scoop in here as I mentioned it's also raised a little bit slightly because TRD Pro is a little bit higher than the other one so all those small details I made sure are incorporated to make my rendering as accurate as possible so that's why I'm very confident of these four diagrams are at least 90% accurate because they're dimensionally correct I've made sure that the front end is taken uh, directly based on those uh, prototype photo and also from the leaked video I made sure that the dimensionally it's is to, to the correct scale and I made also made sure that the side profile is identical to the prototype that's being leaked on the street and I also made sure that the rear tail lamp is mimicking or similar to the leaked photo so I, and I made some adjustment to show the four different variations which is a TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, the Limited and the um, TRD Pro I didn't make one for Platinum uh, or perhaps 1794 if that edition carries on to 2022 but these four are, are the most uh, popular trims trim lines of the Tundra so those are the four I concentrated uh, so th these are all the reasons why and let me just walk you through here again here's a limited and here's the TRD off-road and here's a TRD Pro 
So these are the exact reasons why I'm very confident that if these diagrams or rendering that I produced are 90% accurate, maybe even 92, 93% accurate, they're dimensionally correct, they're to scale, and it matches 100% with all of the spy photos of the prototypes that actually came and those prototypes are locked in design and those prototypes are just about a year before the actual production. I know that from my engineering uh, subject matter experience and so I can work backwards and basically reverse engineer everything I've seen and create these renderings. So they're accurate. I hope this is very helpful. I really do hope Toyota will finally show us the real thing very soon. And uh, again, when the real uh, photo is finally released, um, yeah, let me know if you think that my rendering were still accurate. I'm very confident they would be. So have fun with this rendering. Please comment below if you got some additional questions. I will try to create the rendering for the rear and also for the interior at some point. But for now, please enjoy the four renderings I have and please ask me any questions by commenting below. And uh, I'm here to support you and to hopefully continue to feed you interesting and fascinating information about the Tundra and all the other Toyota products as well. So thank you for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed this short uh, segment and we'll talk to you very soon. Signing off. Thank you.